Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today is what Tuesday. Uh, so I put some videos together. Um, they should be hopefully uploaded by now. Um, what I ended up having to do was I ended up wiring temporary lights so I could see at night, so I could pull a night shift. So I did a night shift last night. All right. So I have two rows. Um, each row is 250 feet each. Uh, this is 12 2 wire right here, and this one is 14 2 wire. Uh, and we definitely got to buy a lot more wire, but that was the wire I initially bought like a while ago, and it was on sale when I did buy it, so um, I saved a little bit of money on it. But uh, I got to buy a lot more because there's so many receptacles and plugs and switches and all that stuff going in this house. So. So um, here's the electrical box that I bought a while ago. It's nice that I can actually pull things out of my um, storage finally, you know. Like I'm pulling out my heater, I'm pulling out my kitchen sink, I'm pulling out my vanity and my counter, I mean my sink and all that for the bathroom. You know, I got my, my brand new toilet downstairs I, I still need to bring up, you know. Um, so it's nice to be able to bring everything out. So here's the electrical panel that I'm going to be using here. Uh, this is going to be AC electrical panel, right? So... Just a basic electrical panel. Let me open it up here. So this one's got, I believe, 20, oh yeah, 24 circuits. So this has got 24 circuits in it. I'm not gonna even use close to all of them, but nice to have extra just in case you wanna divide up your circuits, right? So now the main thing is, now that I, you know, got this out of the box, I'm, I'm happy that I'm actually able to um, start bringing out some of the stuff I bought like so long ago. <laughs> so now the key is, um, thinking about where I want to mount this because you don't want to mount your electrical box where everybody can see it and it's just in your in your sight all the time right because it's an ugly box right so you don't want to and if you're going to put something over it like a mirror or a picture or something then that's that's a different story right but this is I'm thinking either two things guys this is kind of where I'm thinking about putting the electrical box so I'm thinking about putting the electrical box in the guest bedroom or second bedroom whatever you want to call it in the closet Okay, either, you know, in between this wall right here and I can open the panel this way or this way. I don't really want to put it on this wall because the 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 foundation as far as the plates, the base plates, you know, there's they're thick and there's like there's a bunch of wood down there. So it's going to be a pain in the butt to drill through all that. So I may put it right here in the middle and I can drill straight through the through the plate here through the floor. And then I can route all my wires down and around to my um power room so that's one location or the other option was i was thinking is so here's my front door i didn't mount the door yet i do have the door but i didn't mount it yet and this door is going to open this way okay so it's going to open towards this wall right here what i was thinking is another possibility is putting the electrical panel behind the door right because this door is going to have a regular door plus a screen door so normally, you know, the, the hard door would be open and then just the screen door would be, you know, um, closed. And so you, you know, you wouldn't see too much unless you close the door. But that also goes back to that. I can also maybe say, say I decide to put it here or here or here or whatever, but behind the door itself. Um, you know, I could easily put something over it to hide it. And this is very easy because here's the front entrance back and forth, right? So I could easily come whack breakers on and stuff like that. So I kind of thinking about that too. The only thing is that if I put it there, I'm guaranteed going to have to put a, put something over it. I don't know, like a mirror, a picture or something, you know, to make it like blend in. So you won't really know too much <laughs> that it's there. So those are my two options right now because I definitely don't want it anywhere over here because downstairs don't get me wrong guys downstairs where the power room is going to be or if i'm going to build a second um building for it that's going to have a um breakers in the breaker panel in that room as well so you know i'm going to have basically two breaker panels a main and probably a sub so this will probably be the the sub in this house which would also be the main <laughs> Uh, but you, I, you guys are following me. You guys know what I'm thinking about and how I'm thinking about this. So 
yeah, I'm just thinking out loud, guys. Just trying to figure out where I'm going to put this panel. So I did bring it out of the box. So I'm going to temporarily just mount it into the wall in the closet and just see how it looks, see how it, you know, if it's going to work or not. And then if not, I'll try and mount it right over there and make that work. The issue is, is that also, you gotta remember too, wherever I decide to put my power room, if it's gonna be right here and underneath, or if I'm gonna build a separate building for it, you have to take into effect that wherever you put this electrical box, you have to route wires from there to your power room, right? So you don't wanna put it in an awkward location and you don't wanna put it in a very hard location for wiring because you gotta run wires and conduit and all that good stuff. So lots of thinking here. And then as far as the actual, light sockets here you know your light switch um i didn't want them high because um i didn't want the, i just didn't want it high you know i want it to be very easy so when you walk into the room you know when you walk into the room you can easily just you know bap bap you know hit it on and off you're not searching for it you know so i measured those at to the top of the box where you see that mark right there uh i measured it to six wait 46 inches and any you can put a light switch anywhere it can be 16 inches from the bottom or up to 48 inches or higher depending on custom installations or whatever you got going on right so 46 inches i think is a decent height right there you know and i also did 46 inches for the bathroom right there and then for the second bedroom there and then so all my outlets i mean um light switches are going to be at 46 inches i think that's a pretty decent height it's pretty, you know, yeah, I think that's going to work fine. So, anyway, guys, oh, yeah, my temporary lighting last night worked out really well. Super happy about that one because uh, it was, you know, I only had, like, a little bit of lighting in here initially for the first night when it was actually dark in here, and it was just too dark. So, uh, I, I dug up some old fixtures, some old wiring, and um, cobbled some stuff together and wired it all up, plugged it all in, and it worked fine last night. I had... Uh, one light there one light here one light there and one light here and it worked out perfect It wasn't the most brightest, but it was bright enough to um, Do what I need to do and see what I was what I need to do, you know, so Anyway guys just a really quick update and uh, maybe I'll give you guys some more footage as it comes along here